else want to start a YouTube video off by saying welcome back to my channel. Just me. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. I got my hair freshly cut, freshly colored, and it's finally clean hair day. And I'm going to teach you how to create some really cool beachy waves with a short blunt cut bob. It has taken me two years <laughs> to grow out having a full side shave. Um, actually, I had completely all the way around shaved. It's taken me so long to grow it out and I finally have like the haircut of my dreams thanks to my amazing stylist and thanks to using some amazing products to help with the growth and recovery of my hair. So without further ado, let's get into creating this really fun look using a flat iron to curl your hair and my favorite blow dryer of all times. First things first, you want to make sure you always have some type of heat protectant in your hair. So right now I just shampooed and conditioner. I'm going to be using the third wheel, which is an amino keratin treatment for your hair from Head Candy. It's amazing. It's got all types of keratin amino acids in it. It's a leave-in strength and shine, but it's also a heat protectant. So you're getting like all types of amazing treatment for your hair. Okay. I'm going to say amazing, probably, I don't know, 87 times during this video. It's fine. Then I just brush it through. I use this Naughty Girl brush because I have a ton of hair. Even though it's fine in texture, I just have a lot of it. So sometimes it's hard to get through it with like a wet brush. And this one's kind of rounded to your head um, and it'll really get down in there and get all of your tangles out. And that is gonna get all the product moved through my hair. And that is what my secret is to having like that smooth, silky, shiny do like all the time. I'm then going to use a microfiber towel, which seems kind of extra, but trust me, this is a step that you definitely want to get into the habit of. And you could use like a t-shirt or you could use like a microfiber towel to get all the excess moisture out of your hair before you dry it. Number one, it cuts down your dry time so that you're not like overly using heat on your hair. But number two, it's less damaging than like a terry cloth towel because all those little hooks on a terry cloth towel are actually gonna be more damaging when you're trying to rough up your hair. So fiber cloth, my favorite. Next up, you're gonna grab your favorite hair dryer. This is mine. This is the BFF Professional Blow Dryer. Obsessed with it. It is crazy, crazy quiet. Let me turn it on, ready? Crazy quiet, that's on full blast. And it is crazy, crazy lightweight. And that's my favorite because like I said, I have so much hair. So when I'm using a blow dryer, sometimes my arm can just get really tired using a blow dryer. But this one's super lightweight. I love it. It's insanely quiet. So it doesn't wake up my kids when they're napping and I'm trying to sneak in doing my hair. And it dries your hair really fast. So it's got a cool shot, turbo shot. It comes with the diffuser. It comes with all types of awesome stuff. So I'm gonna just do a rough dry of my hair. I'm actually gonna time it and see how long it takes. Okay, so, so far it's been three minutes, but I wanna teach you a little trick to get more volume in your hair when you're blow drying without even using a brush. It's so simple. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your hair and you're gonna lift it up. And you actually wanna dry from the roots first because when you're drying from the root first, you're gonna be lifting up your hair, okay? So I get in there and I use that blow dryer to get in there and dry the root of my hair first and then look at all that lift even though this is still completely wet, okay? So definitely lift it up off of your head. So all too often I see that, you know, someone will have such a deep part that it sits so flat on their head. All you gotta do is lift it up, move your hair. Actually blow drying your hair in the opposite direction of your part is gonna help to lift up that root as well. Okay, now that we have our hair completely dry, I wanna talk about one more part of a blow dryer that's really important, and that's this little attachment here, okay? Whatever we're gonna call it, I call it a diffuser. It's probably not called that, it's fine. We're not professionals here. It's a nozzle, it actually says nozzle right on it. This is so crucial to keeping your hair healthy, and I could not for the life of me figure out how to blow dry my hair with one of these things on my blow dryer. Like I would always just blow dry my hair like this, right? Well, when you use your nozzle, 
it's gonna give you that much more space between the direct heat and your hair. And the further away that you can get that direct heat from your hair, the more moisture your hair is gonna hold, the more shine it's gonna have, and the longer it's gonna stay healthy. Having that direct heat source too close to your actual hair is actually gonna burn it, dry it out, and keep it like kind of dull and lifeless more than like shiny and healthy looking. Okay, now that we have our rough dry done, we wanna section this off three times, okay? So I'm just gonna use a little alligator clip and I'm gonna start from the bottom. So I'm just gonna clip up everything else that I have up top and leave that bottom hanging out, okay? I'm gonna brush out any knots, but you can see this is just that rough blow dry. That's not, um, you know, anything smooth or anything styled. And I feel like that actually gives you better volume and more texture when you're creating this look, okay? So I'm gonna use a one inch flat iron. This is the Miss Pris from Head Candy. I'm gonna have it on 330 degrees, okay? 330 is perfect to get just that little bit of a wave. The higher that you put the temperature, the tighter that the curl is gonna be. The lower that you put the temperature, the looser the curl is gonna be. So we wanna be somewhere happy in the middle so that we can create these really fun looks, okay? So we're gonna start off by taking a little section pointing our flat iron down and twisting it away from our face and then leaving the little ends out so that you get that kind of PC choppy look, okay? And that's gonna be like the little wavy curl that you get. Now don't touch it, okay? Let that heat cool off of it, okay? And now I'm gonna twist towards my face, okay? So we're gonna alternate. We're gonna go backwards, we're gonna go forwards, we're gonna go backwards, we're gonna go forwards. Always leaving those ends out and not brushing through the curl just yet. So a little tip and trick that works for me is when I wanna curl away from my face, I go down, and when I wanna curl towards my face, I go up, okay? So I'm gonna take one more, and I'm going up now, and that will help me go towards my face, okay? And you just wanna alternate those curls all the way around. Okay, I still have not touched those curls, okay? I'm gonna block off now the top section using my little alligator clip, okay? And now this layer is a little bit longer, okay? So we are going to take our time to make sure that we get those curls a little bit more precise, right? As opposed to that bottom layer, which is kind of short, okay? With the bottom layer, I feel like when it's short, you can kind of like, I don't know, you can kind of fake it a little bit, but that's gonna be the layer that kind of lifts up that second layer, okay? So again, I'm just gonna alternate, grabbing small sections here, okay? Giving it a little twist and then leaving those ends out so that they're kind of flat at the bottom, okay? And then pulling it through. And again, we're gonna work this all the way around. So one trick that I have learned with this is that you wanna kinda swipe it through. You don't wanna squeeze too tight because then you're gonna get like a disconnected curl. So you wanna have a light grip, okay? Really light grip so that you can spin it and the hair is almost sliding through the whole time so that we're getting just that wave instead of having like such a curl. Okay, so I'll show you one more time. Again, I'm on 330 for heat. I have a light grip, okay? Get down to that end and then you kind of pull it through. And again, I'm not touching these curls. We want them to completely cool off. Okay, last layer, most important layer. Let's take this down. Now I part my hair this way, so I'm gonna start my curls on this side, okay? And I'm gonna really pay attention to how these are going because these are like the curls that you actually see. <laughs> so I'm gonna choose a little bit wider of a section, okay? And I'm gonna work that all the way through and see how I let it go. I was holding on to it too tight. So I don't want to work this section right away. I want to actually give that time to cool off because if it's hot and then you go put more heat on it, you're not going to get the curl that you want. Okay. So now that that's had like a couple seconds to cool off, I'm going to hold a lighter grip. I'm going to pull that through. Look at that shine too. And then we have, see, it's like that choppy with a little bit of the wave, okay? Sometimes I still get excited when I see these curls. I'm like, yes, I did it, okay? So we're gonna grab it again, 
Okay, give it that curl. I'm having a light grip on it. See the shine that we're working with? Okay, and the flat iron has a lot to do with it too, you guys. Like this has the infrared technology in it, so it's going to give you even heat distribution as well as like locking in the moisture of your hair instead of pulling moisture out of your hair. So I'm going to work these few pieces back so that the back has plenty of volume too so that we're not just pulling everything to the side. And then I'll be back and we're going to like pull it all through and add some product in. Okay, now that we have pretty much everything done, we're going to go through and touch it up with a few more things. What I love to do because it's clean hair day and I don't like to put a ton of product in my hair when it's clean hair day is I'll actually use some dry shampoo for some texture. So again, we wanna lift up by the roots and get in there, okay? Lift up by the roots. And this is gonna just kinda of take some of that, you know, super silky smooth because your hair is so clean and throw just a tiny bit of grit on it, okay? Then I'm gonna take my hands and I'm gonna pull through all of these curls Okay, and I'm gonna let them do their thing. And then I'm gonna take my flat iron and I'm gonna go through in a couple spots and I'm just gonna tighten up some of those curls so that it's not so like straight and beachy. Check out that volume though. My goodness, you guys, when you blow dry from the root, I'm telling you, you are going to see such a difference, okay? So find where you want your part to go, let the hair fall, and then find the pieces that don't make you happy, okay? And then you can just kind of add a little bit to it if you want to, like so. Like I will polish out a couple of pieces, but that's pretty much it, you guys. That's like no product too. That's just a little bit of dry shampoo just to kind of gritty it up a little bit. Now, if you want to create even more volume, check out this awesome product, okay? So I'm gonna pop this right into my hair just a little bit. Now I use this generously because this does not leave grit on your hair like some of the products that I've tried, okay? And then I'm just gonna get my hands in here and I'm gonna like, boom, lift, lift, lift that hair up to have this insane volume. And then we're just gonna have kind of like those little mermaid waves. And I love it, it's like a good beach day hair. You can make it as big as you want to and it doesn't have that crazy grit to it. So that's how I do my little clean hair day beachy wave using a one inch flat iron. I'm gonna put the link to all the products that I use down in the, in the um, description below. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow if you love these tutorials and I'll see you guys soon for some more hair and makeup. Bye.